This video is brought to you by Patient Guard, experts in medical device regulatory affairs and quality assurance. When implementing an ISO 13485 quality management system, the standard requires organizations to document the system and maintain its effectiveness in accordance with the standard and any applicable regulatory requirements associated with its medical device activities. It must also be documented what the organization's role is under the applicable regulations, such as a manufacturer, distributor, authorized representative, or importer. This information is usually placed within the quality manual. The organization needs to determine which processes are needed for the quality management system and apply them throughout the organization. Each business will have different requirements. For example, if an organization is a distributor of medical devices, it is likely it would not have a design and development procedure. Processes used as part of the quality management system need to be applied using a risk-based approach. And the organization needs to determine the sequence of the processes and how they interact. For each process, the organization needs to determine the criteria and methods needed to ensure that both the operation and control of these processes are effective. Ensure the availability of resources and information necessary to support the operation and monitoring of these processes. Implement actions necessary to achieve planned results and maintain the effectiveness of these processes. Monitor, measure as appropriate and analyze these processes. Establish and maintain records needed to demonstrate conformance to the ISO 13485 standard and any applicable regulatory requirements. Any changes to the process must be evaluated for their impact on the quality management system, evaluated for their impact on the medical devices produced under the quality management system, controlled in accordance with the requirements of ISO 13485 and applicable regulatory requirements. When the organization chooses to outsource any process that affects product conformity or requirements, it shall monitor and ensure control over such processes. The organization shall retain responsibility of conformity to ISO 13485 and to customer and applicable regulatory requirements for outsourced processes. The control shall be proportionate to the risk involved and the ability of the external party to meet the requirements in accordance with the control of the supplier's process. The control shall include written quality agreements with the supplier. We'll talk more about supplier controls when we discuss Clause 7 in a future video. The organization shall document procedures for the validation of application of computer software used in a quality management system. Such software application shall be validated prior to initial use and, as appropriate, after changes to such software or its application. The specific approach and activities associated with software validation and revalidation shall be proportionate to the risk associated with the use of the software. Records of such activities must be maintained. We will discuss the validation of software to be used within a quality management system in further detail in our next video. If you liked this video, then please click the like button and hit subscribe on our channel to keep up to date with the latest videos from PatientGuard. Making regulation easy.